Right, so module three, we're just going to talk about um, honeybees. They're incredible little creatures. This is a really short little chapter. So basically, bees can walk because they're not slugs. They can fly, they can see. So they can smell, um, they can communicate either with the antlers or they can communicate um, using pheromones and generate pheromones and they blow them around. You'll see this mo most notably when um, the queen moves into a space, they'll sit outside and they'll blow her smell around so the other bees can find their way to their new home. Um, they can also communicate doing a physical waggle dance where they, you can just research this, they do a waggle dance and they can communicate where um, they've been foraging with success. Um, they create an enzyme that turns sugar water into honey. Um, they excrete wax out of their bodies. Um, they also make stuff, they make bee, bee bread, which is what they use to feed the uh, babies. They make royal jelly, they make honey, they make propolis. Um, they make silk. Um, the black that you see inside the old comb is not the old comb rotting, it's the silk from the pupae. Um, and um, if you, you can get um, silk honey from eco beehives, uh, which you don't really get from any other system. But they also work with other bugs symbiotically. They work with wax moth, um, the blight of conventional beekeepers. They work with some wasps um, where they've got this agreement where they'll put lines of wax on the front of the hive, which will be eaten by a small um, wasp, which will then keep hornets away. Um, they work with earwigs because earwigs eat varroa and they will um, work with earwigs within the hive. So they will work with other bugs as well. Um, and then on top of that, they also need mycelium. Um, for whatever reason, they use the mycelium. Um, if you have a hive with sterile wood in the bottom and you come back a few years later and you test it, there's um, always three specific types of mycelium that are in the bottom. Um, and those they would have brought in. Um, trees also seem to like bees because if a tree is busy rotting on the inside and bees move in, they stop that rot. So there's some something going on there as well with um, bees and trees. Um, so there's loads of things. And that's the excitement of um, bee lining and researching bees is because um, there's just so much that we still have no idea about. That's module three. Thank you.